to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. We're just playing a little rhyming game. All right, can you guess something that rhymes with dish? Something that rhymes with dish. 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 Hmm, let me think. Aha, I know. Okay, let me guess what you're thinking. You guess too. Okay, something that it swims. Okay, it's oh, so it swims in water. You're almost there, Ben. All right, and swims in water rhymes with dish. Swims in water rhymes with dish. Oh, I know. Do you? Is it a fish? You're right, Ben. Yeah, fish and dish. Fish rhymes with dish. <laughs> okay, Ben, choose another rhyme. Okay, um, something that rhymes with small. Small. Yeah. Oh. Small. <laughs> um, tall. Tall rhymes with small. Yeah. Small and tall. <laughs> <laughs> We're really good at this game, small. Oh, here we go. There's a customer. Come on, small. I'm on my way. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? Wow, that's a surprise. Our customer rhymes with hat. 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 Who rhymes with hat? They also rhyme with sat. Hat. Sat. Hmm. And mat. Ah, I think I know who today's customer is. Does she have whiskers and a tail? Hat. Sat. Mat. A cat! Is today's customer a cat? That's right, Ben. It's Cassie the Black Cat from the bakery down the road. Hmm. I wonder what a cat would like to eat. This is a tricky one, Small. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. This story is all about a baker's shop with a mouse problem. There were mice everywhere. In the jam, in the flour, in the cake tin. Mice where they should not have been. So the baker bought a large black cat called Cassie. It was her job to chase the mice away. But Cassie didn't like running, and she didn't like chasing mice. All she cared about was reading. Cassie loved books, and she read and read all day long. One day, Cassie noticed all of her books had been nibbled and chewed. Tiny teeth marks everywhere. Now, she didn't mind the mice eating all the cakes and buns, but she did mind them eating her books. It was a catastrophe. Luckily, I was passing by. I had to think of something quick. I remembered mice love cheese, even more than they love cakes. I whispered into Cassie's ear. She picked up a very large book, opened the page, and began to tell a story. The land of cheese, she said. There is a place far, far away where everything is made of cheese. The houses are made of cheese. The trees are made of cheese. There are mountains of cheese. Soon the mice stopped their nibbling and began to listen. Living in the land of cheese sounded even more appealing than living in a baker's shop. Eventually, one cheeky little mouse scurried up to Cassie and asked, Excuse me, do you know how to get to the land of cheese? Of course, replied Cassie, and gave the mouse directions. The mice were so excited, they all scuttled out of the door and were never seen again. 
Now, Cassie can happily read her books and the baker can bake his cakes. Little Cook to the Rescue, once again! That was a great adventure! And the baker doesn't have those naughty little mice nibbling away at his food all the time. Mm. Way! Woohoo! The trouble is, we know what mice like to eat, don't we? Hmm. Cheese. Lots of cheese. <laughs> but we don't know what cats like to eat. And Cassie the cat from the bakery will be tired of all those cakes. Mm. So what can we make for Cassie the cat? <laughs> oh! <sighs> oh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Woo! Well, well, look at this! Fishy on a dishy. Do cats like fish? Oh, they love fish, Ben. Then let's get cooking. You read out the ingredients, little cook, and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need puff pastry. Puff pastry in the fridge. OK. Pastry, yep, yeah, got that. One egg. One egg, yes, got that as well. Butter. Butter in the fridge. Yep. Milk. Milk again in the fridge. Flour. Flour, OK. Got the flour, yep. One tin of tuna. One tin of tuna. There we are. Lovely. And monge two or green beans. Monge two. Oh, I can get that from the garden. So, we've got monge two in the garden, but fish. Now, I can't... I know fish live in the sea, but I can't exactly just go and pick a fish out of the sea, can I? <laughs> well, of course not, Ben. Fishermen catch fish in... in... What do fishermen catch fish in? Oh. I'll tell you what, Small, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get all the ingredients ready. Good idea, Ben. I'll see you later. <sighs> hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Woohoo! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo-choo! the right place. That's a fishing boat. Fishermen sail their boats out to sea and catch fish in the nets. When the boats are full of fish, the fishermen sail back to harbour to unload. The fish are in those crates covered with ice to keep them fresh. Now the fish are taken away to be sold to fishmongers. Look at all the crates of fish! Fish come in all different shapes, sizes and colours. This man is selling the fish to all the fishmongers who sell the fish in their shops. Mmm, cats love fish. Better get back to the cafe. See you later. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> do, 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 do. Ah, lovely freshly picked mange too, straight from Big Cook's garden. <laughs> that looks delicious. Yoo-hoo, Big Cook Ben! Oh, hello there. You made me jump then. Everything's ready. Did you have a good trip? Oh, it was great, Big Cook Ben. I saw all the fishing boats collect all the fish, and then I went to a fish market where I saw even more fish. Oh, then we better get cooking. Cassie the cat will be getting really hungry by now. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to fishy on a dishy? You do? There was puff pastry. One packet. Egg. One egg. Butter. One tablespoon. Milk. Half a cup. Flour. Two tablespoons. Tuna. One tin. And monge two or green beans. Just a few. Whoopee! Let's get started! First things first, I'm going to put the oven on to 220 degrees Celsius, gas mark 7. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do that bit for you, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Right, Small, can you get your crayon out for me? I think we need a fish shape. Great! I might be small, but I'm brilliant at drawing. One fish shape coming up. And I'll roll out this puff pastry. Bit of flour here. Oi, oi! That's going all over me! Oops. Sorry. Oh! And all over my fish shape! <laughs> oh, well, that looks great, little cook. I'll cut out your fish shape if you beat the egg. Right you are, Ben. Roll the egg over. <coughs> oh, stop that egg! <laughs> looks like the egg's beaten small. <sighs> Phew! Now place your fish shape onto the pastry and cut round it. This is a job for your grown-up helper to do. And you can make any shape you like. Six little fish went swimming one day Over the sea and far away do, 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 do. Phew! I've just broken the egg into a bowl. Now I've got to beat it. Where's my whisk? Aha! And all the little fish came swimming back. There's the last one done. Six fish on a dish, greased with a little bit of oil. I'm just going to make one more ring on the middle of this last fish with a pastry cutter. There. You'll see what that's for later. Small. I'm going to need that beaten egg now. There. Beaten to perfection. Thank you very much. Thank you, Small. Now brush some egg over the pastry fish. There we are. And then we're going to pop them in the oven for eight to ten minutes. The egg should help them go all goldeny. I'll set the timer. Two, ten minutes. There we go. In they go. Now it's time for the fishy filling. <laughs> there we are. Melt the butter into a saucepan and then add the flour. Now stir it round with a wooden spoon. There we are, keep stirring. And now I'm going to add half a cup of milk. Really carefully. Don't forget to tell them to keep on stirring so it doesn't go all lumpy. Keep stirring so it doesn't go all lumpy. <laughs> add your tuna. There we are. Mix it in and then take it off the heat. Oh, by now the pastry fishes should be cooked. They're ready.
Teddy Big Cook. Wow, they look great. Brilliant. We just need to wait for them to cool down. They're cool, they're cool. Take the middle out of the fish. There we are. Oh, careful. And fill the hole with the fishy filling. There we go. That's one. And two. Lovely. The fish are on a dish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rhymes. Fish and dish. Fish on a dish. <laughs> Now place the mange too around the plate to look like seaweed. Oh yes, good idea. There we go. Big cook and little cooks fishy on a dishy. Ha <laughs> fishy on a dishy coming through. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Yippee! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Look, here comes the plate. Oh, yeah. And it looks like Cassie the cat enjoyed her fishy on a dishy. And she's left us a book and a note. What does it say? What does it say? Let's see. Let's look. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my fishy on a dishy. It was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. I thought you might like this book of rhymes. A book of rhymes? Brilliant! Oh, small! Now we can play our rhyming game all the time! So it's a book for a cook! <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah. a, a book, book for, for a, a cook! cook. <laughs> see you soon! See you soon! Okay, let's see. We've got, oh, we've got cat and hat! Cat and mat! <laughs> you can make something delicious to eat! The cat sat on the mat. Ish. Dish. Hmm. Let me think. Aha! I know! Okay, let me guess what you're thinking. You guess too. Okay, something that. It swims. Okay, it's. Oh, so it swims in water. You're almost there, Ben! Alright, and swims in water rhymes with dish. Swims in water rhymes with dish. Oh, I know! Do you? Is it a fish? You're right, Ben! Yeah! Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Fish and dish. Fish rhymes with dish. <laughs> okay, Ben, choose another rhyme. Okay, um, something that rhymes with small. Small. Yeah. Oh, small. <laughs> <laughs> um, tall. Tall rhymes with small. Yeah. Small and tall. <laughs> <laughs> We're really good at this game, small. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's a customer. Come on, small. I'm on my way. Who's our customer today, Small? Wow, that's a surprise. Our customer rhymes with hat. 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 
Spoon and Moon! Yeah. Brilliant! Your go, Ben! OK, um... Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. We're just playing a little rhyming game. All right, can you guess something that rhymes with... Dish. Something that rhymes with dish. <laughs>